What is going on, nerds and nerdettes? It's your boy Stevie B with this week's haul video. Um, this is going to be a Midtown Comics free uh, haul video because they ain't sent me my shit yet. I don't know what the holdup is. Um, I don't know if it's new comic book day. Last week's got them behind mail, but it's still showing my shit to be in, in Kansas City. So it's usually here on Saturdays or at the latest by Mondays, but it ain't even close. So we're just going to skip them. We'll do them tomorrow. A lot of it's uh, free comic book day stuff that they that I didn't get. Um, just a few. I wasn't going to get... You know, I find myself... if Just because it's free doesn't mean I have to get it. Because, man, I am I'm reducing. I am reducing. I have, I have cut back one, two, three, four, five. Almost five short boxes full of comic books. Cutting my collection back, man. I, I'm, I really am. I... And I still haven't had the yard sale yet. Um, I know I talked about it a couple episodes ago. Um, yard sale got rained out. Or let me put it this way. It was, they were calling for storms all day Saturday. So we canceled it. And then it didn't rain until like 4 or 5 o'clock that evening. And I was like, Pfft. But the problem is, is it's rained almost every day since. And my yard is a swamp. Um, doesn't drain off very well, so it puddles. And I mean, <clears throat> the last thing I want is for people to drive in my yard and digging up ruts and everything or getting stuck. And it would just be a mess. So I've got to let my yard dry out and, you know, firm back up so people can pull onto it without getting stuck or whatever. So, but I got some good stuff for you just because I didn't get any Midtown. But that just means I got all the, all the, uh, some, uh, some uh, blah, blah, blah. what are we calling them we're gonna call them some key pickups i got some key pickups um nothing but keys in my opinion in my opinion but first up i had to get this so i've been after this book for a while and for some reason it's been a little outrageously priced and it's finally come down to reality but i love the cover and but it's a uh, supergirl number one the first it's first solo uh danvers as Carol Danvers is Supergirl, but I love the cover. Always wanted one, never got it. Not that expensive now, but at one point, yeah, a little pricey. It was a little pricey, I ain't gonna lie. And, um, man, I got a lot of stuff coming from, coming from, uh, there's some stories to be told. There's some stuff I bought or traded from my buddy, Jason Todd, well known. This book is, doesn't have any value, really. But who hasn't seen this cover? And who doesn't love this cover? Right? That is as iconic a cover as it'll ever be. It's about a $10 book at best. In this condition, maybe even maybe 5 or $6. But love the cover. But uh, Flash number 177. But no big head Flash cover. Love it. This one I got in part of the bundle deal I did, I did with him. Um, it's a low grade. I mean, it's low grade. Um, we're, we're talking, ugh. it's got, you know, it's got one, one staples, uh, cover separated at one staple and, and it's kind of, it's just beat the shit, but it, but it's still a cool book, but it's old, early X-Men, uh, Silver Age, number 49. I'll show it to you. But you can see, I mean, yeah, yeah well, but, but you know, this thing is older than I am. So, you know, you're not going to get, you, you're, you're very rarely, you're going to get anything above a mid grade, but, um, but you got to love it. Um, love this Stranko cover. That's just badass. Um, cool book. Couldn't wait to get it. And it's also, that's the keys on this. First appearance of Laura Dane and first appearance of Mesmero. So, in this condition, I mean, in in great condition, this is a this is a triple digit book. In this condition, eh, you know, about 10, 15 bucks maybe. But this one I was excited to get. This is in pretty good condition. Credible Hulk number 99, first Lord Seth. Um, but this is in pretty good condition. I'd say, you know, a 4.0 at least. But this one's approaching triple digits pretty close. 
um, in this condition, you know, we'd say I'd say 70, 80 bucks maybe, but pretty good, pretty cool book. Probably these are the that's the oldest. This is now the oldest uh, X Men, the oldest Hulk, and the oldest Flash, I believe, comic. I don't know. I don't think I have anything earlier than one seventy seven in Flash, but I know for a fact it's the earliest X Men and the earliest Hulk I got. And then, and uh, I know Todd, if you're watching this, I'm getting to it. He's going to wait. That ain't all. But then I picked up this. I bought a couple of these. Um, only I just bought these. They're not worth anything. Um, I bought these from him because um, I love these old Justice League of America covers. Um, I really do. And this is just uh, Justice League of America, one ninety nine. No keys or issues, or, or it's not a key issue or anything. But I just love the cover. Love those old covers. And this is in excellent shape. Considering this thing is what from the 70s late 70s But Love that grab that from him and I grabbed this one from him because this is also in mint Condition I don't have it in the poly bag still a debate for me is Remove it from the poly bag or don't remove it from the poly bag Does it really affect value if you take the poly bag off? Because like I said CGC is going to remove it if they grade it so I'm thinking if it's not going to affect value, if you have it graded, it shouldn't affect value for collecting. But I got one in the poly bag. Not a very valuable book, but this this is one of those ones that you could say that you could say you know is a um, really undervalued key, budget key. I mean, you can pick this up. A lot of dollar bins got these, but I'd say realistically on eBay or something, you know, three to five bucks. The Shadow of the Bat, number one. The fir first appearance of Victor Zaz. Um, that Brian Stelfreeze cover. Brian Stelfreeze did a lot of the Shadow, most of the first early Shadow of the Bats, and almost all of them, I think. He's not one of my favorite artists. I'm, I'm not a big, huge, huge fan of his work. I don't know what it is about it I'm not a fan of, but it's. I, I know he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a legend, but I was just never a big fan. But, <clears throat> but anyway... This comes with the uh, Shadow of the Bat number one, three-dimensional Arkham Asylum pop-up, a two full-color Brian Stelfreeze posters, the official blueprints of Arkham Asylum. Now that might be good. I might, I might open this just to get the cool stuff out and frame it. A blueprint of Arkham would be a cool wall decoration, and a special edition bookmark. But anyway. Like I said, not an expensive book, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, this one, funny story about this. There was a little three-way argument going on with this. Uh, um, <clears throat> uh, Luis over at Comic Vantage started it. He was, you know, after the X-Men 97 finale, you know, everybody's talking about, um, <clears throat> well, you know, what's going to happen now is it's Fatal Attraction storyline. So, you know, everybody's talking about Onslaught and, you know, being in season two and that being the big storyline coming from season two, which I, it's, you know, it's pretty obvious, I think. I think it's pretty clear where they're going with it, but anyway... Yeah, I kind of jumped on the board. I actually have the first appearance on slot already, but I bought another copy because uh, mine's not in that. Was had a few conditions, so uh, anyway, I bought another. But this is the one that caused the ruckus. Uh, in uh, Comic Vantage's video, he said X Men Prime was the first cameo appearance of Onslaught, and <clears throat> well, I thought. I was thinking, well, wait a minute. <clears throat> um, I thought X-Man number 15. That's what shows, you know, in Key Collector and, uh, and uh, CLZ as being, as being the first cameo appearance was X-Man number 15. Uh, so I was, did some research and, and, there, and there was websites that were saying, yes, X-Man Prime is the first cameo of of onslaught 
but then just as many websites in, were saying, uh, no, that X-Men number 15 is the cameo. CGC says X-Men Prime is a cameo of Onslaught. But I actually contacted CLZ and had asked them, and I had said, is, is X-Men Prime not the cameo, first cameo? And they said, no, incorrect. Uh, and then they started telling me which one came out first. And I'm like, X-Men Prime came out first. And then they answered me back and said, wow, you are correct. It did come out first. But that is not Onslaught that is cameo in there. Um, they said that that was a first appearance of a character called... Ah, uh, crap. I can't remember. Hound. That's it. Hound. First appearance of a character called Hound. And he showed me the pictures of Hound. It has the same big booger hook claws and everything in the silhouette. And uh, the storyline was a storyline where the main antagonist was Hound. And so, uh, after... After researching and, and finding it out, um, X-Men Prime is not a cameo of Onslaught. It is actually a cameo of Hound. And X-Men number 15 is actually, which should give it away, Onslaught appears within, uh, is actually the first cameo of Onslaught. There is no mention of Onslaught anywhere in X-Men Prime. Um, there is... It is a case of mistaken identity. Um, people assumed it was a cameo of, of Onslaught, but it was actually a character called Hound. And you can do all the digging I did to find out and to make sure I'm right or wrong and exhaust yourself just as well as I do. And you can find 50 sites that are going to say X-Men Prime is the, is the cameo of Onslaught. And you're going to find 50 sites that say this. CGC is going to tell you X-Men Prime, but if you read the storyline, you look at the you look at the panels, read the storyline, and you will find out that that is not, in fact, Onslaught. It is Hound. Okay, that hurt my head. I'm telling you, I did the work for you, so you don't have to. So this is the cameo you want to get. X-Men number 15. Not X-Men, X-Man 15. There's your cameo. And of course, like I said, I got another copy of the first full. This is, in fact, the first full appearance of Onslaught. So, there you go. Which would explain why X-Men Prime came out so much earlier than, than these X-Men. It came out in 95, and these come out in 96. So this storyline clearly started a, almost a year. Well, eight months, about eight months after the whole hound storyline happened but i believe it was a, it was a case of mistaken identity i think cgc got it wrong um the guy the man i was talking to was clz man he had evidence he he backed his shit up and i backpedaled and said wow okay I, you're right i i looked it up and read everything he showed me and we had a cool conversation it was actually a fun little deep dive into that character to find out uh what but the evidence is pretty solid that that yeah that x-men prime is not the first appearance of onslaught sorry but it's not but i still have it anyway i still have it anyway you know why because it's a chromium cover book <laughs> you, you know i'm gonna have it all right but the last book we're hitting the 15 minute mark i just stretch i have stretched this out as far as i can stretch it out this is the one that I that I uh, that I click baited you with in the thumbnail the one you've been waiting for the big my monster uh, grail autograph book I'm not an autograph guy there are probably a handful of people I count on one hand whose uh, whose autograph that I would that I would like to have and um, I've got a couple of them I've got you know, I've got some. I, I, I haven't got my Frank Miller yet, but it's in the works. Um, 
and I got Brian Boland and that was one of them but this one is on everybody's grail list everybody wants this man's signature he is synonymous with comic books a person that never touched a comic book in their life or even seen one in person knows who this man is of course we're talking about Stan Lee and I have finally acquired Spider-Man the Spider-Man number four this Todd McFarlane cover um, from the Torment series signed by Stan the man himself certificate of authenticity on the back and that is sealed and serial numbered from Boston Authentics I'm stoked this is one of my wall books people are going to be going how come you got that stupid book on your on your wall it's not a key there's nothing wrong but they'll know it's going on my wall books as you can see my other wall is expanding I had to move some posters to make some room we got some new stuff up there my second copy of I thought I would go ahead and hang it on the wall because clearly we're not going to be giving that away on the on the giveaway because um, we can't even get my boy Russ from collect what can't even get him to 300 you guys let me down I thought you would be on board just to support you just to support the community go sub the guy up and help him keep him motivated but in case in case you just hadn't watched and you hadn't heard go to y'all are going to hit me in the comments going where do i go to sign up i don't want to keep explaining it in every video go to my giveaway video on my channel it's only two three videos or about two videos down it'll say giveaway time go watch that video and it'll explain everything on how to enter and have your chance to win batman number five first first batmobile foil facsimile and brave and the bold number i can number 54 why did my brain go lock first appearance of the teen titans foil facsimile of course i'll throw i'm always i'm gonna throw them both in get him to 100 or 300 subscribers and i'm gonna throw them both in because it couldn't entice you with just one and i'm gonna even throw i i'm gonna even throw in a couple of books that i just need to weed out of my collection i don't like them maybe you will i don't need them maybe you'll need them but head over, collect what, or, and let's sub him up. Again, hashtag Stevie B sent me in the designated video. You'll have to go watch the link to the video you need to hashtag in is in my video of the uh, giveaway time video. So I would put the little thing box up there like everybody else does, but I'm on my phone. I don't know how to do it. I just don't know how to do it. Not that advanced yet in my technology to to go just click on the link here and it'll take i don't i can't do it so you're gonna have to go click on the link in the description on my giveaway video and that'll take you to it to to russ that'll take you to the video hashtag stevie b sent me he hits 300 by the end of the month by i think we said june for the first monday in june we will draw a name from everybody that hashtagged the correct hashtag so if you hashtag something you know absolutely completely ignorant like stevie b valiant you're not going to get entered you know i'm talking about that's right <laughs> so anyway that's going to do it that is my little haul um man time flies when you're having fun doesn't it that is my little haul we will do my, midtown will come will be here probably tuesday so i'll save it for next week so next week's haul will, will probably be a double Midtown haul, um, which is pretty good. Pretty cool, because I ain't bought a lot of books this week. I, you know, it's that bill week, you know, that week where all your bills are due at once and, and you ain't got that spare money. So it's bill week, so it's going to be a slow week. Anyway, let's go get Russ up to uh, collect what? Up to 300 subscriber, so I can give these books away. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you ain't already. Do all those YouTube things we love for you to do. Like, subscribe, comment, share. And that's going to do it for this one. We will see you all in the next one. Peace.